friends, it's Carrie with Photograph the Magic, and I share tips and tricks to help you take the best possible photos on your Disney World vacation. If you're traveling to Walt Disney World and want to know all about Disney's PhotoPass service, this is the video for you. Welcome to this two-part video series. Today in part one, I'll be breaking down everything there is to know about Disney's PhotoPass service, Memory Maker, and Magic Shots. I'll share the price, what's included, how to get your photos, and more. But if you already know what PhotoPass is and want a photographer's opinion on if it's worth it to purchase for your next Disney World vacation, head over to part two, where I'll share all my thoughts about it. All right, so let's go. There are a few terms to understand as we talk about PhotoPass and Memory Maker, and honestly, a lot of people use those terms interchangeably, including myself. So if I confuse myself or if I confuse you, I apologize. I'm gonna try my hardest to keep it straight. But first, let's talk about Memory Maker. Memory Maker is what you purchase to be able to download and view all of your photos taken on your Disney World vacation. You'll be able to view these photos in the photos area of your My Disney Experience app. And PhotoPass, or Disney's PhotoPass service, is the actual service of having your photos taken by the Disney World photographers, called PhotoPass Photographers. You'll also have your photos taken on rides or attractions, and all of those photos taken by the photographers and on the rides will show up in your My Disney Experience app under the Photos area. Magic shots are extra special photos that the Disney Pass photographers can take for you. They take your photo, they add a little sprinkling of pixie dust, and then later that evening those photos will show up in your My Disney Experience app with a little extra magic to them. Disney offers three types of magic shots in the park. The first is called a Tiny World Magic Shot. It's a 360 degree view. According to the Disney World website, you can find these at Star Tours at Hollywood Studios, in front of the Tree of Life at Animal Kingdom, and near Spaceship Earth at Epcot. The second magic shot Disney offers is called a Super Zoom Magic Shot. It takes a whole bunch of pictures and puts them together as a burst to make a video, and it zooms in on you really fast, which is really cool. The Super Zoom Magic Shots are located at Cinderella Castle at Magic Kingdom, Spaceship Earth at Epcot, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios, and at Everest Riverside Theater at Animal Kingdom. The third type of magic shot is what I described before and it's the classic magic shot. In the next video, I'm gonna be sharing all of my thoughts on PhotoPass and if it's worth it. But the one thing I'll say right now is that my kids love, love, love. the magic shots. They thought it was so fun to ask the photographer if they had any magic shots. And then when we head back to our resort at night to go through the My Disney Experience app and check out all the photos we took during the day, and especially the ones with a little extra magic added. It was really fun as a parent to watch them experience that and know that they were having a lot of fun each night as we looked through the photos. All right, so now that we know some of those words and terminology, let's talk about the price tag. There are three options for purchasing Memory Maker. The first option for purchasing is the Memory Maker One Day. And this is just like it sounds like. You can purchase your PhotoPass photos for one day of your vacation. It's $69 to purchase this. And again, once you purchase the one day Memory Maker, you'll have all of the photos, videos, traction photos that were taken of you and your travel party on that one day. The second purchase option is the Memory Maker Advanced Purchase, and this can be purchased up to three days before your arrival day. So you have to be three days out in order to purchase this. The price is $169, and included are all of your PhotoPass photos from your entire vacation for your entire party. So that again includes the magic shots, the ride photos, the PhotoPass photos, all of those special photos in the My Disney Experience app. The last option to purchase photos is Memory Maker, and that's $199. You can purchase this while you're on vacation or before you leave if you're within that three-day window of your arrival date or after you get home. There's only a short amount of time that you have to purchase once you get home, which you can find those details on the Disney website, but for $199, you also can have all of the photos from your vacation. So now let's talk about how it actually works, how you get your photos taken, and how you get your photos in the app. I'm gonna give you a brief overview, but I'll dive in deeper to each of these sections. So Disney has PhotoPass photographers stationed all over the parks, ready to take your photo. You basically find a photographer, you get in line, 
you scan your magic band or your key to the world card. Whatever you use to scan into the park is what you'll scan with the photographer. You'll have your photos taken and then they'll magically end up in your My Disney Experience app later that day. Having your photos taken and viewing them on the app are totally free. You do not have to purchase Memory Maker in advance or have the one day Memory Maker to have your photos taken. You could have as many photos taken during the day as you want without purchasing Memory Maker. However, if you don't purchase Memory Maker, you're gonna see that the photos in your My Disney Experience app have a watermark on them. So they're not very easy to view. But once you purchase Memory Maker, that watermark will be removed. You'll be able to save them on your phone and edit them and do whatever you want with them after that. If you have a large travel group, each of you might be taking turns scanning your magic band or scanning your key to the world card when you get your photos taken. So you can link all of your photos together, which is really nice as well. So that all of the photos of your party can be viewed together, even if you're not the only one scanning your magic band or your card. Okay, so how do you find a PhotoPass photographer? Well, they're located in all four parks, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. And they are also located in Disney Springs. Disney Springs actually has its own PhotoPass photography studio. And I laugh every time I look at these pictures. I had these gems taken of me in Disney Springs back in January of 2021 when masks were still required everywhere and they just make me laugh every single time I look at them. Okay, let's talk about how to find a PhotoPass photographer. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is really just to look around and find the cast members with a big camera. Because they're really big. Usually they're wearing like a blue pants, a white shirt, and kind of like a khaki colored vest. The PhotoPass photographers are normally hanging around all of the big Disney icons like the Tree of Life, Cinderella Castle, and there's usually a line of people waiting for them. Another way you can find the PhotoPass photographers are by opening the My Disney Experience app. You can click the location finder on the bottom, then from the drop down, select PhotoPass, and this will populate the most common locations that the PhotoPass photographers hang out. You'll also be able to see which attractions take your photo as well. This section differs a little bit from the wait times because it won't show you a wait time or how long it will take to have your photo taken. Sometimes the photo pass photographers take a break as well and so this is just a general guide. It doesn't mean that there's automatically or for sure going to be a photo pass photographer there. They do move around every once in a while but this is like a general gist or general guide for where you could find the photo pass photographers and from my experience it's usually pretty accurate. Okay so once you find that photo pass photographer wait your turn in line and when it's your turn to have your photos taken the photo pass photographer will have a little handheld scanning device where they will scan your magic band or your key to the world card your iWatch, your phone, whatever you used to get into the park is what they're gonna to use to scan to link these photos to your My Disney Experience app. I have used all of the options in the past, and honestly, I really feel like using the Magic Band is the easiest way to go. I've tried the key to the world card, and I just found that trying to get it out of my bag every single time was kind of a pain. I've used the wallet app on my iPhone, and I've used my watch even. And there were just some glitches that were happening when I used both of those. My phone, for some reason, the PhotoPass photographers, their little handheld scanning device, it just would not scan well. And so it took like a lot of maneuvering and a lot of time to get it to scan. And if your device doesn't scan or you don't have your magic band, what they'll do is they'll give you a little card with a code on the back that you can scan in the My Disney Experience app to link those photos. So you can still get your photos if for some reason you don't have your magic band or if you lost your key to the world card or if something like that happens, they have a way to get those photos to you. But it's just one more thing to have to remember and do. And if you don't wanna be digging a card out of your bag, I really feel like my magic band, it worked the best when I used that. So the other thing to do when you're scanning in with the PhotoPass photographer is to ask right then if they have any magic shots. You don't really wanna to wait to the very end until they're kind of telling you that your time is done to ask because they're gonna be moving on to the next travel group. So right when you're scanning in, right when you're next to them, ask if they have any magic shots. A lot of times they'll do the magic shots without you asking, but not all the time. So it's always good just to ask right away when you're scanning in. 
All right, so now it's time for your photos to be taken once you're scanned in. In my experience, the PhotoPass photographers are so good. They're really, really good at getting large volumes of people through their line so that they can help create these magical photos for a lot of people visiting the park that day. So they have a lot of poses and a lot of ways to group you up to take a photo when it's your turn. But something that helps move the line along even faster is if you can have your poses ready in your head already or already know how your group is gonna gather up so that you're not scanned in and the photographers waiting for you to all figure out where you're going to go for your photo. If you're a single traveler like I often am, the PhotoPass photographers are great at giving you poses to do, to helping you group up with your travel party. If you just have no idea what to do, they're going to tell you exactly how to stand and what to do. But when in doubt, of course, just standing there and smiling is something you can also do as well. When I travel solo, sometimes I'll let them direct me and sometimes I already know the kind of photos that I want. It's kind of up to you. If you just stand there and don't really know what's going on, they're going to do awesome and they'll help direct you and tell you what to do. But again, if you're a really big group, it can take a lot of time to get your group together for the photo. So if you can already have an idea of how you're going to gather up and just kind of fall in line when it's time, that's going to help the photo pass photographer. It's going to help minimize your frustrations, especially if there's kids involved, and it's going to help you get those shots quick and move through the line. The photo pass photographers usually take a few different poses or shots. I've had as little as two and as many as eight at each photo station. It just depends on how busy their line is, how fast they're working, but generally it's about four to five different poses or photos you'll get from each photo pass station that you stop at. And once your photographer is done taking photos of you, they'll kindly ask you to move along and they'll move on to the next travel party. Shortly after you're done taking your photos, you'll start to see them in your My Disney Experience app. I've seen them as quick as a couple minutes and as long as a few hours, but usually that day you'll get all those photos from that PhotoPass photographer station that you were at. When you are having your photos taken on rides or attractions, the photos are automatically taken and some rides, like Seven Dwarves Mine Train, somehow magically reads your magic band and automatically downloads it on your My Disney Experience app. And other rides, like Buzz Lightyear, you go to a little kiosk after with all the screens and you can see each photo. When you find your photo, you'll have a little area to scan your magic band and you can scan the magic band which will link that photo to your My Disney Experience app. So once your photos are in your My Disney Experience app, when you're scrolling through and you've purchased Memory Maker and you decide which photos you wanna download, you can go ahead and click on the photo, click save, and you can even edit the photo right in this My Disney Experience app as well. You'll see you can also click on the photo and purchase photo souvenirs. It brings you to a different company, a different website that can make you know print on mugs and shirts and calendars and things like that. So if you wanna keep it all in one spot and order your products right from this app, you can do that. Okay, so I wanna help you have the best experience experience with PhotoPass or Memory Maker that you can have. I want to share a few things that PhotoPass service is not so that you know exactly what you're getting when you purchase because it's another expense for your trip. So you want to be sure you're getting the most out of it. And I'm going to share additional tips on my next video. So be sure to check that out as well. But a few things that the PhotoPass service is not. Number one, it is not a mini personal photo session for you and your travel party. The PhotoPass photographer is stationed exactly where they're stationed and they're going to have you stand in the same spot that all the other people before you stood. They're not able to go to a secluded spot near the castle to take photos of you and your group. They're not really able Able to drag it out into you know 10 15 minutes it's really a way to just get as many people as possible through so that each family each group that's there can have these really memorable photos and so asking the photo pass photographer to move to another spot or having very specific requests for the photo pass photographer is just something that's not going to happen However, if you're looking for more of like a mini photo shoot session where you can go exactly where you wanna go, Disney does offer a mini photo shoot session called Capture Your Moment with a PhotoPass photographer. The photo session lasts for 20 minutes and you get to choose a location to go to with the photographer. And that's where you would have more control over asking for certain poses or certain locations. So you can check that out on the Disney website. The second thing to know about PhotoPass, what PhotoPass Pass is not. These photos are not edited in any way. They come straight out of camera, which is a photography term for basically saying that the photos are not retouched. 
They are not edited. There are no filters or presets or anything like that added. People are not edited out of the background and I have seen some funny things <laughs> in the background of people's pictures. Nose picking, Grundy picking. I mean, if you can imagine it, I have seen it in the back of a photo. So when those photos are getting downloaded in your My Disney Experience app, just remember that they are not edited in any way. But once you purchase Memory Maker and you save those photos to your phone or whatever device you're using, then you can edit them in any way you want. You can crop them, add a preset. Um, if you know how to edit people out of the background, you can do that but they're gonna come, again, straight out of camera. The third thing to know that Disney PhotoPass service is not, and this one is strictly my opinion, but I feel like it is probably not the best way to capture a really significant life event, like a proposal or a baby announcement, something big like that. And the reason is kind of what I mentioned before, because the PhotoPass photographers are meant to really bring a high volume of people through their line. They're not really able to spend a lot of extra time with each individual family. They are not able to move from their location. So if you're hoping to have very few people in the background or a really specific spot with low crowds or you want the sun shining in a certain direction, the PhotoPass photographers will not be able to do that. It might be a better idea to have someone in your travel party be ready and know that this is going to happen so that they can take pictures in a spot that you really want where the lighting is better, maybe it's less crowded, less people, and they can really be prepared for what's gonna happen. If the PhotoPass photographer is caught off guard, they might not capture the exact moment you're hoping for. So just keeping that in mind is a good tip as well. I have seen beautiful proposals happen with the PhotoPass photographers and the photos were awesome. So I'm not saying that it can't happen. I just think that if you have a really specific idea of how you want these photos to turn out, or if it's extremely important for you to have have beautiful photos of a moment like that, like an engagement or a proposal, either hiring your own photographer or using a friend or family member that can really run through the plan with you and know exactly what you want for those photos is maybe a better idea. Or using the capture your moment photo session with the Disney PhotoPass photographer where they can maybe have a little heads up ahead of time or you have that whole 20 minutes with them so that they can capture all the photos of that moment that you want. So now I would love if you would head over to part two of this series to see if I think purchasing Memory Maker for your next Disney vacation is worth it. I would love if you would like this video and subscribe and please comment below if you have any other questions about PhotoPass or Memory Maker. I would love to answer them. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you found this helpful. Bye friends!